Oi, oi. Oi, oi. Oh, hello there. <laughs> so we did something. Brad started it. Yep. Like always. Yeah. Tracks is M41. She's naked right now. Naked. This guy code. Power boat. Power boat. Pro boat. Yeah. Power boat. Power over. I guess it is a power boat yeah. in real life, but the Miss Geico Zelos 36 inch twin motor brushes. Don't have the best conditions right now. No. Go time. Rob's broke a little bit. We're going to see how, last, how long it lasts. How long lasts? Cracking. Screw it. So Brad's is all stock except for dual rudder water pickup. Dual water pickup on the rudder. Yep, that's about it. However you say it. We're new to boats. Other, well, not boats. RC boats. Prop dancing. It's rough. Uh, with the wind. Yeah. Uh, upside down. Go got you. Get you got you. Go pro. Geico. Miss Geico. Geico for your money. Look at that thing. Oh yeah. That's cool. Well you ever seen a boat do a backflip? Yeah. It's right off the gate. <laughs> Ooh, don't go that way. <laughs> Air coming. Windy, wavy. Yeah, <laughs> I was scared. Damn. Uh, you mean flip? Cat grab. Cat grab. Cat grab. Cat grab your toe. Uh. Nice and scary. It's like the X-Max coming at you. Yeah, it really is. Oh, it landed! <laughs> That's the first time that one's happened. Yeah, no doubt. It always lands upside down. Where's your boat at? Right here. Right here, right here. Watch that tree. Oh, God! Oh, <laughs> got I that! Got that. Yeah. <laughs> that was bad. He should have held it down. <laughs> I think it must have went about three Dude, feet. <laughs> it probably got mud on the front. <laughs> that was that was cool shit. <laughs> we got to try that again. <laughs> I'm going to throw it. You hit the trigger. Well, i tell you what. I haven't been nothing but hard on this thing since I got it. Got it yesterday. Like, oh, I'm going to just... Oh, just... I ain't even going to do nothing with this expensive, you know. Yeah, went around the pontoon with it. Went airborne and almost caught the back corner of the pontoon sideways. <laughs> running the... Way too fast. I'm not wide open. <laughs> I didn't win either. <laughs> yeah, I didn't win. Is it cool, Tom? No. Always boats coming. We're supposed to get up real early this morning. Come out here. Oh, we were up early this morning. Oh, morning. yeah, 4 o'clock when we went to bed. Yeah. From being out here jug fishing. Had, had a little bit too much uh, Kool Aid last night, if you will. The Pepsis. Uh, about lost the cool Pepsis. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Chance finally got his pool done. Yeah. We've been, we're gonna be hanging out in the pool later. Look, I'm faster than you, I just passed you. a smooth side down through there, though. That's... Let's check it. That wide open! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did get it wide open. Yeah, he got did a little not, excited and screamed at me. To, <laughs> did not have to go for a while. Got, got some spectators coming. God, things just a beast coming through. Oh, it did it again! It's upside down. Oh, let's get it.
did it. Well, I don't know if y'all uh, been thinking it over in your mind or maybe contemplating getting a boat. It's Whatever you buy, that's the Tractors M41, Miss Geico, uh, Pro Boat, Horizon. It, his go about 75, mine go about 50. Oh, uh, if the if the boat stopped going by and the water dies down, yeah, you can get it up to it. Is it on? Ah, it is on. Traxxas M41, Geico. <laughs> Squarely. Watch our boat. Holy shit. Woo, there your boat is. Right there. Yep. Really right there. Shit. Take a little while on this. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm wide open. Nice. Landed. No, not every time. In ever. Boat right there. <laughs> Pull mine up a little bit. Brad gonna come Everybody's over here. Scared. Run over it. <laughs> God, that would have sucked. You know that that rudder would have taken a chunk. Out. Mm. <laughs> so the difference between these boats we know so far is that his is ABS plastic. It's light. It turns way sharper than mine because of how light it is. It's narrower. Well, your turn's and, sharp. It just can't hold the turn. Well, yeah, and so for mine, the speed to weight ratio pretty much is that it has to be running more than 20 miles an hour for it to really grab and turn but then you can also flip it if you aren't careful yeah the manual says you gotta be running at least 30 for it to, for it to cool. cool yeah it's got to go at least 30 miles an hour before water will even so, go yeah. through the pickups cycle through the motor esc and then back out the top right before the antenna and symmetrically on the other side straight first, across your last Late From late. great 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 Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like the M41. This comes in 450 bucks. He's running on two 3S batteries, running at 6S. 50 plus mile an hour capable out of the box. Home stock prop and everything. And I would say it would run. We had I've got a new Sky RC GPS, so I've got to start breaking out. I put it in the Geico yesterday and got it wet because I flipped the Geico. But it ran on two 4S batteries, 53 miles an hour, and rough water, oh, wow. rough water. We were gonna get up, like I said, get out here early. These things need super smooth water if you go. <laughs> yeah, drive one-handed here. It's easier to drive a boat one-handed. Yeah, it is easier to drive a boat one-handed than it is a car. Unless it's a crawler. Because you got to have a beer in one hand. <laughs> but that thing, just like you see how it just grabs and just turns really sharp. You can flip it over turning it, but it seems to be hanging a lot more stable. Look at that thing. That's Look saying. at that. That was almost one. Let's try to flip it over. <laughs> yeah. It does cut. So four hundred fifty dollars. I got mine on a discount. Six seventy nine, I believe, is seven hundred bucks out the door. Seven fourteen tax and all, I believe. Then you got to have batteries, of course, just like every other RC that's not ready to run. Right. We, don't do, we don't do Walmart boys. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Got you got you. Uh, 
She gone. She gone. Anchor. Anchoring. Progo. I tell you what though, for the money, like Brad did buy this. It was on consignment at Anderson RC, Thomasville, North Carolina. Anderson Brothers, Wes, and Matt. Nice place to go. Very helpful people. But anyway, uh, this guy had it on consignment at Anderson up on the shelf for 350 bucks. It's 450 brand new uh, on the shelf. Yeah, the only thing that was different about it is it had a little bit of algae on it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I talked to the guy yesterday, it was actually at Anderson that's, that had the boat and he said he didn't run it but a handful of times. And it, it looks like it wasn't ran a lot. I mean, I don't know what normal wear would really look like on a boat being that it runs through uh, slick water all the time. She did. Oh, she did. She gone. Those players didn't like their shit. No, they didn't. What were those? Those are my brand new tracks, it's about 5,000. Huh. They do have cutout, just like RC cars. I did turn the cutout up on mine. Uh, I was made aware of that, that by Wes Anderson at Anderson RC. He said that the Geico, well, not just the Geico. Wes told me, actually, no. He said that Pro Boat, the cell voltage cutout is 3.2 default from the factory. And he said you wanted to bump it up to 3.4 because I actually had a person buy a pro boat, take it out, run a pack set through it, and then bring the packs up there saying, and the boat saying, we don't know what's wrong with it. These were all new stuff. And we ran the packs, did, didn't over discharge them, you know, stop, pick the boat up, take them back, cool them, hook them up to the charger, and the charger won't recognize the batteries. And it's because the cell voltage was too low on them. So I did go in, programming page 12 and set these to 3.4 volts for each ESC. That's two ESCs, two motors down on the side, battery tray, got a good long battery tray in it where you can mount packs all the way up underneath the front of it if you had 3S packs. I'm running two HRB 5000 6S 22.2 for a total of 44.4 volts and it will flat out get it done yeah but it's just kind of like i mean it's all preference stuff like this is a very expensive boat and it's a fiberglass laid hole which i was told by uh james at anderson that he preferred fiberglass just because of the toughness of it and i mean actual real like my sea ray v-hole boat bow rider is laid in fiberglass obviously and it's really thick and so get better longevity out of it is what he was telling me uh, whereas with the abs plastic hole it could potentially crack especially if you catch like a tree like that laying out there which i don't know what boat wouldn't want to run into a tree running <laughs> oh my god yeah i'm sure just to hit it right center it right into forks right oh, over top yeah. of that probably just rip it off what yeah but i do like the boat it just to me like see brad run his i ran his it's not a bad thing it's fun like like you want speed runs that's the boat that's the boat you want to go straight real fast get that boat you want to have fun and <laughs> actually enjoy your rc, <laughs> or RC boat the m41 you can't get wrong with it no i love i love my M41. i like his m41 too I'm gonna get some budweiser stickers going it yeah it, looks like it does look like miss budweiser but yeah, and this boat, you're a little bit gun shy. I am, at least anyway, when you get it out there running. I mean, the thing runs 75 miles an hour out of the box, and I've had it probably 65 range today. Oh no, you, you today? Yeah. I was say yeah, you got it wide open pretty good. Yeah. Sometimes I, I might have clicked 70 with it. I'm telling you, that thing. It didn't it, have much more to give. No, no, it didn't. It's, it's screaming straight out. But we're in wind today, and it says in the manual, if you read your manual, which I would advise, that you should not run this boat into the wind. But just like real actual boats, when they get up floating, that up front will catch wind when the bow gets too high on it and pull it up out of the water and flip it over backwards. 
or mini flips in all or different directions. Yeah, completely <laughs> I submerged it yeah, pretty much. We got a couple good videos today. I hope so. Huh? Action. Action. Jackson. So if you do read your manual, which you should. And this is for every boat. Every boat. Ain't even no water in that one. Nah, not even any water in it this time. <laughs> just like. You're supposed to drink it. Yeah. Pro boat duck. Let's put a drain on the back corner of this thing, which is neat. But yeah. These prop shafts run through the stingers are just cables. And they don't ride on anything except grease. And you need to grease them. They recommend every 15 minutes on this boat. I run a set of batteries through it. I was gonna say, and your batteries last more than 15 minutes. They do. So yeah, I'm pushing it. Every single, every single battery pack you yeah. need to grease. And so I started off stupid yesterday, and I ran a set of 4S batteries through it, run on eight, and then pull it out all excited, and I'm like, oh, it's good. Throw a set of 6S in it, throw it right back in the water. It runs probably five minutes. Lift. And one prop. of the, one of the motor couplers on the left prop, the motor coupler up front, came loose and allowed it to spin the coupler over top of the cable to the point where by the time it, five, two, gosh, two seconds that it did it before I realized it wasn't pulling but with one side. And then I slowly brought it over to the, this boat and picked it up out of the water, pulled the lid off and it's just steam everywhere because it spun on that cable and got so super hot. It blew the end of the cable from too much temp getting into it. So. Just go ahead. I mean, that would have been alleviated if I just do like the book told me to do, and take the coupler apart or loosen the coupler. You just have to. It's it. super easy. It's not. It's not a crazy breakdown or nothing. It's literally. Look, we're gonna do it two ten millimeters. Tracks. This was nice enough to give you wrenches with theirs. Yeah. Mine did not come with wrenches. It's almost like they're better or something. Yeah. I don't know what how you would say that. One on one side of the back of the motor coupler is two piece. Obviously, it's just a cone compression type fitting. But you grab it on one side and then you grab the nut on the back side and then break it loose a little bit i feel like if they had mounted the motors like up here with a longer cable yeah i feel like it would do better you think so yeah. all the weights in the back all the escs yeah and i may i may look i don't know the battery weight is your main weight i was thinking yeah, well you, maybe you we could, could move. shove them up under there to be yeah, and like I said, those 6S batteries, they can actually, what you can see, once you stick them on the tree, uh, that's where the strap was adjusted to with the 6S batteries in it. So it's maxed almost completely out. So I don't think ProBoat really had a, intentions of you running a 6S battery in it, but that's fine. You can, it's, it comes with single point connectors, but it also comes with wide adapters so you can hook two batteries in series and Four run. Batteries. Yeah, run four batteries, yeah, sorry. No. Two on each ESC, two 3S's on this side, or two S's, it'll run two S's or three S's. But that battery is just barely setting up there to the top and it either, either way it won't go in there. You got a three S pack sitting here. Mm -hmm. So you can mount three S packs in it and then get all the way up half that the That would be nice. Yeah. And then, yeah, I mean, you could even, even if you had to stagger them one there, one there. Yeah, that's the way you run them. Then that would that would put a lot more weight up front. So I think. you get two yeah. three S's there, and you're putting the weight down lower. Exactly. In the boat, so yeah. Lower in the center of gravity. Well, on. maybe maybe uh, Next I time. need to charge up some batteries. Yeah, we get some adapters, and you can run my three well, S's on there. I've already got two of these HRBs with EC fives. I'm just gonna get two more of them because why not? Why not? <laughs> it's just money. It's just money. You can always go make more kids. That's right. You go work. Every day. Bust your hind end. Yeah, that's what we, that's what we do this for. Yeah, it's all. Is it on? Huh. Got cold. Yeah, we got a little, yes. got a little bit better uh, wind and. God. Uh. Dancing on you. Dancer and prancer. On vomit and blixen. Uh, she about vomited. <laughs> I'll throw it up. Wide open. I better get a little better out of this water, but yesterday, like I said, on 8S, I put the Sky RC GPS in it, they got 53. It probably ran about 55, I'd say, yeah. on this water. It's nowhere near the scary beast as the Six battery. Nowhere near. Watch out for that rope. Clear. 
<laughs> Sprayed you. <laughs> Check it out on you. Don't turn the grease. No, it's not a real heavy duty turner. It's more of a straight liner. Yeah. Bay liner. <laughs> 